Hey Aries, welcome to your reading. If you're one of my lovely loyal subscribers, you'll you know, realize this isn't my usual setup, so please bear with me. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. We'll be back to normal next time, so if I keep looking down, please forgive me. You guys know I usually have the focus on the cards and I'm used to looking down and reading the cards. You'll find information of what decks of cards I use and how to contact me for personal readings in the description box. Okay, guys? Okay, spiritual strength here. Um, I feel like going to, from pillar to post here, you're going, you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Um, Leo season will feel like a breeze for you guys. It gives you the extra power from within okay so it's like mind over matter and whatever it is won't matter to you you just have this strength to go on now spiritually you are a giant you could be like me very short <laughs> but spiritually you're huge you're gigantic here and it's you know saying like this is where your power lies so use that go with it the power comes from within um kind of feels like David and Goliath. <laughs> uh, so I don't know what that's about. Maybe somebody's just called David. Um, spiritual union. Okay, so maybe you've come or you know, you've overcome such Goliath <laughs> things that, um, you know, you went just from strength to strength spiritually here. Um, and now you get your reward. You get the other half of you. That spiritual union there, that two of cups. And do you see how they're connecting here? So I feel like this is what's coming. Let me get the romance angels for you guys. A spiritual union is here. Worth waiting for. So it's what you've been waiting for here. So I guess that's why it's no surprise to you, that spiritual strength there. I feel like it's always been within you. It's, I feel like... The power, what is it? Is it Star Wars or something maybe? The force has always been within you, okay? Um, you'll see now why it was worth waiting for codependency. They could have had addictions to other things, right? Um, things that wasn't great for your life. It says addictions are affecting your romantic life there. So maybe that was why you had to wait. But now we have come in these heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. Maybe you just communicate to them, look, I couldn't do with this co-dependency and let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, maybe it was the Aries who was co-dependent, right? Um, because we have cross watchers and because we're being accountable for our actions, now we are full of this spiritual power. We don't get there by denying um, or thinking where these angels, we get there by you know, looking at our problems, facing them, working out them and things like that. OK, so I definitely feel here there's this spiritual union that's coming that will be worth the wait. Whether it's new, whether it's old, um, you'll know. But it was definitely worth the wait. You had to be single while you learned these lessons, right? And you'll understand now why you had to remain single. You'll understand why you had to go through these things when this spiritual union comes because you're just a powerhouse right now. You are just a powerhouse. Let's see what's going on with the tarot deck here. And like I said, I'll leave all the information in the description box. How to contact me, what cards I use, things like that. The strength card. So very strongly you're dealing with um, a Leo or this is just you. This strength, this powerhouse, this willingness to look within to gain more strength, right? Looking within to get this strength. You've overcome this codependency now. So this is why you now have this extra strength. And you know that if it's even negative thoughts, if you're overthinking, that's within you. Right. So, you know, now to pluck out those negative thoughts, if it's over acting, you know, it's within you. You've just 
you're a real powerhouse here. Three of Swords. It's something that stemmed from a heartbreak. You gained your power from heartache. Growing pains taught you something very valuable, set you on this spiritual path, but now it's give you this ultimate strength. I feel like you're a warrior or something. The hangman, yeah, it woke you up. Without a doubt, your perspective on life has changed. If you are just going through this Three of Swords, this heartache, then do understand that things get better. Once you change your perspective here, you'll receive this power. This reading will be eventually for you. There may be some waiting involved, but eventually you'll have that too. So whether you're just going through this heartache or you are this powerhouse spiritual person, this union is going to happen. You've seen this video. It's going to happen here. Knight of Swords. They're rushing towards you. Um, this person might be very sharp of tongue. So sometimes they might not understand that they're hurting people's emotions. Um, but they want to tell you the truth now. So it's a tough conversation if you're going to take everybody's opinion in and not be able to release it. You know, opinions ain't facts. Take them in and let them go. Um, just go ahead here and face the truth, I feel. You get more strength from it. Ace of Pentacles. This is a firm offer you're getting now from this um, spiritual union here. They want to make this offer. Ace of Pentacles. Let's our foundations become one so that's what i'm feeling when two become one okay it was worth the work it was worth the way you've gained enlightenment you get now to see ah now i get it why i was single now nah, now i get it why i went through that heartache your path is so much better and brighter having been through this and like i said if you're just going through this Look to the future with hope and optimism because um, when you find that enlightenment or new perspective, doors are just going to be open all around you. Seven of Wands. So this is spiritual challenges. Okay, so I feel like those of you who are at the high end, the spiritual like master, um, somebody may be trying to mess with you but just stand your ground. For those of you who are just going through this heartache, um, this is challenges in your relationships. So you may find that, you know, a domino effect. You may find that, okay, I broke up with my boyfriend or girlfriend. Then I fell out with my sister or my mum. Things like that, okay, happening. Um, but just keep going. Stand up for what you believe in. Stay true to yourself and you'll be okay. Yeah, emperor. It just... Stand your ground, stick by your truth and what you believe in, and you'll have this abundant new beginning that you so desire. Um, I feel like it could be the downfall of the ego if you're just going through heartbreak, okay? Um, so it could even indicate like, look, um, I um, this person will never leave me. I'm the most beautiful person in the world. Could be a cross watcher who feels like this and not necessarily an Aries, or it could be an Aries, right? It is an Aries card as well. You may have felt like I was the most, it's just about being honest with yourself. That's where your power comes from. That's where you become the emperor, able to rule all the kingdoms and nobody can mess with you. Because, you know, when you accept the truth, nobody can mess with you. You become a powerhouse that just can't be touched anymore. Temperance. So yeah, overcoming spiritual lessons here, being taught something and a second chance is temperance, learning to compromise and how to use alchemy for um, the good and to progress in life. And also a little bit of luck in there for you. It doesn't make you any the less beautiful because this person left. I feel like just it may have just hurt a lot. Um, because again, I'm seeing her, she's still as beautiful as ever, right? It could knock your self-confidence though. The chariot. 
overall success with these cards um, and following destiny. Um, needing a new approach. So like I said, gaining a new perspective on um, a new path ahead of you here. Um, some of you will have a second chance, but with a new direction, a new ending. So it's like rewriting the end. Start again to rewrite the end. Judgment. Who was it who just got this? Maybe Taurus, was it? Um, I think they got spiritual union as well. So um, maybe it's time you meet your soulmate because you've been waiting here. It's like Judgment Day with the, the Judgment card here. Again, a strong, strong um, second chance card here. It's just like, can you see her waiting in line? So it's like it's nearly your time. And I guess that's why they're telling you, look, overall, it'll be worth the wait because you get this spiritual union. You get what it is you've been asking for. You've just got to follow the path. Right. And if you trusted the path, where would you go? What would you do? Trust your path here. A second chance is coming. Um, you have you're in your right here to say, I don't want that second chance. I'm stronger now. I'm a powerhouse. This person is using my energy. So they're codependent on it. I want to get rid of them. But it sees you having a heart to heart conversation with somebody you may have been waiting for. I was just going to say all of my life. So maybe um, you haven't met this person. But there's this spiritual union coming here. Good luck, guys. 